us an update they are, they are confirming at least two people confirmed dead. There are reports that there may be more, perhaps as many as six people dead, but once again, Virginia State Police only confirming two. We do know this was a fiery crash and there was a lot of smoke. Nobody, uh, nobody survived this plane crash. We also know Virginia State Police telling us that this plane was trying to land and then aborted the landing and was pulling back up when it crashed it crashed beyond some railroad tracks into a wooded area. I can, confer, I can confirm the plane was attempting to land here at Shannon Airport and then crashed on the other at the end of the runway and it did catch fire. On the property of Shannon Airport? No, it no. is not. It is actually on the other side of the railroad tracks from the airport. The CSX property, maybe? Don't know. It's right on the boundary line between CSX and the uh, Park Service. She also said it was a small plane. How I'm not going to go into any other details. Thank you very much. The only information we've learned from people who work here is that the plane appears to be a transient aircraft, meaning that it was not based here, that it was flying through. Again, Virginia State Police won't go into who was on board, where the plane plane was from, what kind of plane. Of course, NTSB has been here to try to determine the cause and give us more information. We talked to an instructor here. He said, look, it was a beautiful day, a great day for flying. It appears that uh, there was nothing in the air, uh, nothing um, on the 3,000 foot runway that would have uh, led to any sort of a crash. So you would assume it could be either human or mechanical air. But once again, we have no information about what caused this crash, nor do we have uh, an exact number of victims at this point.